Mrs. Kilroy. Did you miss me? Well, I'm back. Sorta. Went on a long family vacation right before school starts. And so kind of digging out of both work and home stuff and getting ready for my kids' school. So might be a little slow on the videos uh, being posted, but I will eventually get there. And today we're going to do an unboxing of soldiers in postman's uniform. Now you say, wasn't I supposed to be doing this? Oh, so you can read that. Zero liter and all its great stuff that DVG sent to me to uh, take a look at. Well, I am going to get to that. I'm going to do a proper unboxing of that. And I like to get into some gameplay or other treatments of Zero Leader and all the expansions and stuff that they uh, sent to me, which include a lot of stuff there. But I wanted to get to this because this was waiting for me when I got back. And again, compliments of DVG. Great folks over there. Uh, this just came out, uh, and this is um, kind of their newest edition of the Valiant Defense series, which uh, is part of you know Pavlov's house. And, oh, 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 Castle Itter. So these uh, make up the trilogies of some sorts of the uh, Valiant Defense series, which uh, have similar uh, kind of mechanisms, although they deal with very different topics. Uh, they're all dealing with World War II, but they, uh, and they're all solo, and they all have kind of a, a very tactical feel to it. Um, this one is dealing with the defense of the Polish post office in Danzig uh, during the Second World War. Uh, and so uh, keeping with the theme of the Valiant Defense, they, they're, they're kind of taking obscure topics or topics that are not, you know, covered uh, very much or, or if at all. I don't know of any other Castle Itter type games. And Pavlov's House is usually covered at a very tactical level, but not... Uh, at the uh, kind of at the exhaustive level that it's done in Pavlov's house. So, so this one, I'm not sure if there's anything else on this topic as well. So kind of excited to get into this. Um, looking at the back of the box, you're seeing some of the components here, uh, the map and some of the counters that go on here. Uh, what it says here, you get game components, 117 cards, 84 wooden blocks, four sheets of counters, six dice, four reference sheets, 33-inch uh, uh, by 17-inch mounted tactical display and a rule book. Again, want to thank DVG for sending this out because I'm really excited to get into this. So let's tip tear into this and find out what's going on here. I have no nails left over from my trip that uh, was nail biting, to say the least. It actually, wasn't that bad. It was. It was a Family vacation. We hadn't taken one in a while, and in these times, any travel and vacation is kind of can be nail biting at times. All right, so they're off the str uh, shrink off, and there we have a typical DVG box. Um, it's a little bit thinner, but uh, maybe not as big, maybe because it's it's the smaller box than what we're what I'm used to, like from uh, Zero Liter and the like. You get a rule book here, full color. Nice looking rule book here. It is uh, 33 pages, but that has references in the back. It has variants. Kind of typical DVG style, especially for the Valiant Defense series with, you know, you have your chapters and then have the rules down below. It's not very um, uh, condensed. So, I mean, it, it's a relatively good size type, color. Uh, looks like there's some examples as well. So should be relatively easy to get into. Again, they share some similar mechanics, but not identical mechanics. So uh, if you're familiar with other games, this probably is not too hard to pick up, but it is something you're gonna have to figure out how, how this game plays. Um, but it doesn't look, too, doesn't look too bad. It looks like this is something we can kind of pick up. So don't let the 33 page rule book scare you because it's got a lot of color and uh, illustrations and examples, and there's an explanation of the cards and the counters and the like. So there you have it, and there's the post office today. It's kind of cool. There's also a companion book 
like historical book that comes with this. They did that in uh, Castle Litter, and they also did that in, um, I don't know if they did it in Pavlov's, but they did it in um, By Stealth and Sea. Uh, I'm, I'll probably end up picking that up because I do like that. I do like the history, history and, and other aspects of that. Here's the game board. We'll get to that in a second here. Here's your counter sheets and they're, you know, these are rounded and, and so you, you really don't need to, they're usually relatively, DVG counters are really relatively thick and usually come out pretty good. So you don't need to, I don't count, uh, clip counters. So I don't think you definitely need to clip these, especially not the not the round ones. They're dual sided there, and as with typical in the value series, series uh, value defense series, you're going to have individual uh, characters or individual people that were historic and, and dealt with things, and, and then they're going to be on the board. So you know, again, a very very tactical game in that respect. Here's your second counter sheet. These I imagine are markers to help you mark certain things that might be ammunition. Who knows? And again, I haven't read much about this. And, and again, you have like your action markers and, and stuff on who sh shot and who took hits and stuff. So th these are probably your markers and then you have your individual units. And then these are probably the uh, Germans that are attacking or the circular ones. Another counter sheet and another counter sheet. And as you can see, these are really good thickness. I, I really, I do like DVG counters that they the way they do in this um oh and i'd be around here so i guess these are probably just extra counters and blanks that you can use if if needed uh, i'd be remiss if i didn't say who the designer of this was uh the designer is david uh thompson and uh created with along with michael uh, uh i don't know if that's kochman or kochman but um this is another david s thompson kind of design who was the uh, behind um, Castle Litter and Pavlov's house and, and kind of the, the inspiration or the brain of the um, Valiant Defense series. So here's your player aids. You've got a one-sided because you, you can kind of keep them on the table. So you got your clearing phase, escape phase, uh, your defensive phase, which gives you your actions. Because this is kind of a, you know, lack of a better term uh, in the Euro uh, game world, Kind of a tower defense you're, you're defending uh the situation uh which is you know again pavlov's house was kind of defense situation and um so was kind of so was castle itter and so they draw some of that tower defense and they also draw a little bit of the state of siege kind of attributes of you have units coming in on on certain areas and and attacking you and you're having to defend each of those different areas a defensive phase moving defensive phase attributes again these are all one-sided and then you have your enemy phase so you got your your player aids there that you can kind of refer to as you go through the game you get dice here which looks like some standard six side and then some ones that have higher numbers on them printed on there you get your cubes so um I still call this a war game, even though you got cubes. It looks a little bit of Euro-ish there, but you got your cubes. Those are you know, re re used on the board here. And then uh, then you get your cards, which are going to be very important um, in this game. Uh, let's crack these open and see what we got here for cards. Uh, do, 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 do. Don't have my knife with me, and I don't have any fingernails. So let's see how, how hard or easy this is to get out of <clears throat> the shrink wrap, which is going to be harder than I expected, it looks like. was not prepared for that. Um, so, um, well, I'll get to the cards in a second here. The... Um, I like these games. I like to hear what your guys' comments are on these games. Uh, do you like this series? Do you like how the series is going? Uh, to me, uh, Pavlov's house was Pavlov's house was more detailed and more um, involved. You know, with the three different areas, kind of at different scales of how you're looking at the conflict. Castle Litter was more of the close in. Uh, battle uh, immediately around the castle and the defense of that. Uh, I kind of like Castle Litter a little bit better, although Pavel House is a really good game. Be interested to see how this one takes that. Does it go more uh, close in like Itter, or is it more um, different scales as um, Pavel House, or is it something totally different? 
So these are the cards. There's the backs. Uh, probably you can sort those out. There's midday, morning, so they're probably going to be sorted out by the time of day. And I imagine these are the uh, the German actions and what, what the Germans are going to be doing. He'll be drawing these and see what the Germans will be doing as far as their attack of the post office or surrounding it and the like. The rest of these cards here, uh, there's tactics. This is evening, tactics midday, tactics. So you've got, again, different backs that, that probably can help you sort out which deck they go into or how they go into the deck. But these cards right here are going to be governing a lot of your action about, this is kind of the AI of the game. It's going to be moving the, the German forces forward and then you're having to react to that and uh, move your counters around the board to uh, respond to those attacks and make decisions based on that. Let's look at the board here. Nice mounted board here. As you can see, pretty thick. Ooh, I'm not gonna have enough even space to put this on here. And probably won't be able to get it all into the camera shot. And you've got kind of the leg fold out there. I call it the leg fold out. Looks like a bottom part. So there is the board. Very nice, very colorful. Here is the post office. There's those tracks, as I said, is reminiscent of kind of the states of siege type situation where they're going to be coming and coming in on those tracks. And then you have the, uh, I guess, corresponding tracks over here. So this is the parts, the individual parts of the uh, post office. You've got the basement, ground floor, upper floors. Or this is like an interior area. This is like the, to go into these different areas. So really, uh, this looks different than the other two in the Valiant Defense series. So it'll be interesting to see how this uh, all plays out. So uh, I'm going to get in. I want, again, I'm going to get to the zero liter and all that stuff, all the goodies. I mean, DVG is just overwhelming me. Again, more than I expected and definitely more than I deserve. But this is what you get in the box of uh, Soldiers and Postman's uniform. A lot of good stuff in there, a lot of counters. Um, my goodness, a lot of goodies here. So, uh, really looking forward to this. I, I really enjoy the other two games in the series. Again, if I haven't said it, it's solitaire. So, um, there could be probably a way you can play it somewhat cooperatively, have a couple people play and take up some of the forces, but these are really designed to be solitaire and, and really play, at least the other two were in, in play really well solitaire uh don't take a ton of time to set up which is to me kind of a pet peeve on solitaire games so you can get right into it get into the gameplay and start experiencing it and and they are very uh they're challenging you know they're not it's not something that you just beat the first time out usually i mean it can happen but uh usually it takes a little bit of doing to get into there uh they're also a little bit puzzly i mean to me iter is a little bit more puzzly than um which solo games can be at times then Pavlov's house. Pavlov's house with the three different areas has a lot more going on, so it it, it kind of reduces some of the just pure puzzle aspect. It'll be interesting to see what this game does of how how that feels because this is looks like it's closer to Itter in that it's just focusing on the surroundings of the post office itself. So I'm interested to see how that plays out and how that uh, works out here. So anyway, again. Thank you, DVG. Thank you for uh, for sending this to me. I'm going to get this to the table and uh, try to get some content on it and compare it with other stuff. I might do a whole piece on just the Valiant Defense series, uh, maybe a deep dive on that. Who knows? I got a lot of stuff ahead of me. I got a lot of stuff to get to uh, 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 unboxing and getting some content out, but I'm still digging out. I'm still digging out for my trip and all the stuff that's uh, facing me from work and uh, my kids' life which is very important to me, over the next uh, few weeks. So I'll, I'll do what I can. So hang in there with me, DVG. I'll get this stuff out. But And you guys hang in there with me too because I really, really uh, appreciate uh, everything, that you, all your comments and your views and your likes and your subscribes and everything you guys do because, heck, that's why I'm doing it. Enjoy. <laughs>